Hello guys, this is Booker back with another Boom Beach video and today we're going to be using the Grenadier strategy and we're going to be taking on some Hammerman bases. Now, basically we're going to be having a look here at all the bases that we can actually possibly attack. Now, since we've only got Grenadiers, it is going to be a problem for us because some of these mine bases, for example, are going to be hell. Now, we could try something different now. We could try and see if we can get some of these world record. We'll try we'll, we'll try one of the, the GBE only bases right now, just to start off with, because I know a lot of people have been sending in their you know, their records and how, how much GB they can get. Someone had over a thousand, which is absolutely crazy. Now, obviously, it does depend on how much GBE you actually start off with, but um, we're gonna be just using Grenadiers today. Watch this though, look at this. Bang, and they're gonna like just take out so many at a time. It's so fun to watch. I mean, look at that. Um, we're not gonna be using any GBE here, so we're gonna see how much we can actually get. Now, let's just hope these guys can't don't actually take the base out. Now, as you guys know, Grenadiers are basically known for missing everything, so they're probably the best troop to pick when actually attacking these bases. We're over 700 already. I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness. We're going to hit the thousands. What is going on? No, we're not. We're not going to hit the thousands. Oh, we just missed it. So we're in the 881. That's pretty good. Obviously, if you boosted your GBE up, you could probably get pretty high. But we're just going to leave that one just now. We'll go back to this and look at another base. And if we look at the recommended anything worth attacking, we'll go back one page. And uh, if we have a look here, there's all machine guns. Now we know that the Grenadiers are outside of the range of machine guns, so that will be not not very fun to watch. Um Rockets will be a disaster. This one looks quite fun, this one here. In fact, I'm gonna be attempting to take on a Actually no, we'll try this one. This looks this one looks fun. Let's try this one here. So this one's got a couple of shock launchers. Now this is gonna be a problem at the start, but we'll test it out and see. See what we can do here now. Basically, it's kind of like cubes, so we'll just take down these. Hopefully, that can destroy them. And uh, let's have a look here. The boom cannons will be in range. Let's have a look. Oh, we missed the shot. We're gonna take that out. Let's let's try this out. Hopefully, they should be out of range. So we're gonna go this and quickly get a shock in. Um. Oh, please, boom cannons. The boom cannons are going to kill our hero. Please not. Oh, why, guys? Our boom cannon killed our hero troop. That's, that's not what we wanted. That's a huge, huge, huge downfall there. But hopefully... Um, we're going to have to take them out. In fact, we're kind of screwed here because we're, we're like locked in a shock trap now. We're going to have to artillery this. Wait, we're locked in like a shock trap, but if we take them out, right, so we've got a very, very big shock. If we manage to flare them over here, we're, we're, we're minimizing our shock trap. Uh, this isn't good. Oh, we're on 20% battery as well. If we take two, bar well, we'll see how much a barrage can do here. It's going to take more than two barrages. That's the problem. Oh, wait, wait, we, we might be able to do this. Um, artillery there will be perfect and we flare in this corner right okay we get a smoke over here our grenadiers are actually surviving but they're trapped now our, we've actually got a bunch of medics trapped oh my goodness what are we what are we watching so they managed to take the statue so the statue is actually targetable oh my goodness we need to smoke them over here Hopefully that's out of range. That could be perfect, guys. Oh my goodness, we've lost our medics. But the Grenadiers still live to, to, to tell the tale. So this could be a takedown, guys. I actually think this will be a takedown. Yes, it will. Oh my goodness, that was way too, too annoying. Uh, we're not going to be doing any bases with a lot of shock launchers now, guys. Because it just takes time and it's it's not... Well, it's just annoying. I hate... I mean, look at this. What is going on here? They're just spamming, then they'll get a couple of healing each other's, and then they'll get another spam, and they're just going to lose all the troops, but 
yeah, these these guys will take it down. So we'll just we'll just retreat and then just leave that because they will take that down. So we'll go on to the next base now, and let's see what we can do. Anything interesting? That is well. That one looks fun. This one looks fun here. Try this one here. I don't know what this is called. Then we'll try out one of the ones that I built um, after this one. And um, we could do a couple of real player bases if you guys want as well. Right, we've got rockets, cannons at the front. Obviously, we're going to have to take the rockets out. They are basically going to seriously annoy us. So we've got a couple of barrages and artillery in there. Really annoyed with that, the, the finish here, because we're going to have to use quite a bit of GBE. There we go. That's all the rockets down. So we do not need to worry about any rockets whatsoever. Then we're just going to go bam, 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 bang, shock. Perfect shock. You have to be fast when you're doing that. So you don't... Um, so that's perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Bang. Bang. Destroy them, please. We're, gonna, we're losing troops as we speak. We're going to get a shock in there. Can't risk losing anything. We're just going to aim for the boom cannons right now because they can one-shot us from a distance and that is a problem. We're going to flare them over here, get a smoke, because there is some boom cannons that are in range. I decided to come in from this angle here. Looking good. There's a couple of shock launchers at the back, though, and we know they are a massive problem. And hopefully we can get enough, you know, grenadier bombs to take some of them out. Um, if we can't, we might have to just help them out with the artilleries here. We've taken down the sniper towers that are annoying us. Yeah, so we managed to take some of the shocks out here, looking good. We're going to get a really, hopefully get a really nice shock in here. Oh, that's a perfect shock, look at that. All of the shock launchers are down, hopefully we can take as much of them down as possible here. We need to cause some damage to these shock launchers. Perfect, guys. Perfect, 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 look at that. Then the, the boom can is going to come down quickly, oh, we just missed that. We're just going to go like this, take that out, and then flare them up here. And there is one shock launcher in the way. Now, I think that Grenadiers will deal with that with one grenade throw. So I don't think we need to worry about that one shock launcher. I mean, hopefully they can chuck. Hopefully they can target one hit. I mean, I've still got critters to lay, but I don't want to waste that. Um, right, okay, we're just going to waste it. Let's just take this out. One critter, bang. Now we can just filter them out and we're going to take this down and it's going to be pretty much a piece of cake. So we'll flare them into range. We've just been in range. To be honest, it doesn't matter if we lose troops because we can actually get all these troops back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, looking good. We managed to take this one down and ready for it. Bang. So guys, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to be doing a couple more, but let me know in the comments section if you guys like these kind of videos and also let me put the... Um, your the name of your base uh, in the in the comment section, sorry, so I can actually check it out, so I can get some of your guys' bases on this. So if I get this and go to here, is it Safari? Yeah, right. Um, we go to the recommendations. Let's just go for something interesting let's go for something interesting just to finish this off we'll, we'll go for something interesting go back one and let's have a look at the recommendations again so what have we got i oh, know that was a previous base so we'll go back one more again let's have a look let's go right down as far as we can go let's have a look something interesting right down okay these are whoa all boom cannons all boom cannons will be fun all shocks will definitely not be fun. Um, whoa, that looks cool. That looks really, really cool. But that's too many shocks. I was going to pick this one over here, but it's just way too many shocks for my liking. I hate the shocks. Um, I think we are pretty much going to just have to choose all sniper towers, I think. All sniper towers looks like it's an option, so we'll give all sniper towers a go. And it, it, oh, 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 I didn't mean to pick that. Where is the all sniper towers? All sniper towers actually seems pretty fair because you know they do they do actually do a nice punch towards the guys. So we'll go for all sniper towers. 
lost connection for some bizarre reason. So let's go this. Let's see what we can do here. Please get us in. Oh, guys, what's going on? Get onto this. Test the base. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, so this is the base here. It was raining slightly. We're, just watch them lock on here. They're going to start melting us, which is going to be quite hard to watch. Get them out. Get the critters away, because critters are going to help us out a lot here. I think they'll probably be one of our best allies. Once we can get the initial range out from these, it shouldn't be much of a problem. We're going to get some crystal critters. Hopefully, they can take some of the fire away from us. Probably not. Oh, I was actually just thinking maybe critters aren't a good idea because I just remembered these are grenadiers. We 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 are wanting to come in from one side though because we want to minimize the amount of fire that's getting uh, fired on us. So if we come in from one side, hopefully this should help. Um, get another shock away. We're just gonna have to maintain shocks. That's really what we're gonna have to do here. If we can maintain the shocks, it means that there's. We have to minimize the amount of sniper towers that are firing on us at one point. Because if there's a couple of targeting the same grenadier, that is a massive problem. So we'll go right into this corner now and get a really good shock in there. And shouldn't... Actually, it's looking really, really good. The, the medics are doing an amazing job. I don't even know if these are max sniper towers. Obviously, there's no boost on the base, which does have an effect. So there we go. If you, have, yeah, if you don't keep them shocked, you, you will lose. So... Yeah, we're doing really, really good here, guys. R really impressed, actually. We're going to get a really good shock in there. And we can actually get a couple of barrage and artillery to help them out over there. And that's going to wipe that whole side out. And I think that is us pretty much taking the base down because we are not getting targeted by anything at this point. We can reflare these guys in close because, as you guys know, Grenadiers do do a lot better when they're closer range. And they don't miss as much shots. So we get a couple of artillery to help our little guys out. And that is pretty much game over. So yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.